The mayor of Houston warned residents not to be overly optimistic. If you're living in houses with, with water, you have water currently in your home, I'm going to encourage you in the strongest of terms to leave your homes, okay? Because things are not going to change over the next 10 to 15 days. Where the waters have receded, the cleanup is underway. For those who have flood insurance, claims are being assessed. But only 20% of those in the region with flood damage have flood insurance. In fact, the number of those covered in Houston has been dropping steadily over the years, in part because Congress decided to increase premiums a few years ago for the government-backed policies, despite predictions of catastrophic weather events fueled by climate change. So, here in Texas, Republican politicians who in the past have argued against government spending, some even who've argued against federal relief following hurricanes elsewhere in the country, are now making it clear they expect federal funds to fill the gap. My recollection is that the Katrina funding was well over $100 billion. I want to say it was over $125 billion. If, if we go on a parallel standard, uh, it should be far in excess of that amount. But history suggests securing more funds may be a drawn-out process, let alone getting the money to those who need it most. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera, Port Arthur, Texas.